to get this duffel bag to be easy to transport. So John is trying to make the, what are you trying to do? Just shortening it so it'll get caught on the hopefully. Yeah, we picked soft bags so I can take things out and transport them in the big bags. So these two are getting checked and this is my carry-on. And I have a backpack and a husband who I'll see later. flight starts boarding so trying to find that gate now so I just got lost I went to the wrong baggage terminal so now they sent me back upstairs to get my bags from a different terminal so I'm very hot and sweaty ready to get out of here All right guys, I made it to our holding camp. I'm gonna give you a little bit of a tour. So these, this, 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 literally they're all my bags. So I have to consolidate all of this. I didn't go to kidding out because of travel. And so I have so many bags. I had to bring these two with my, me just because I came from the States. So I'm gonna have to figure out how to consolidate everything. But these are my bags, that's my backpack. I have one more bag here. And then these are all Nicole, my roommate's bags. And this is our bed, there are beds. I haven't slept on mine yet. And yeah, it's really small. The room's not very big. This is like a little bit of a, a place to put my clothes. She has her clothes over here. And then this is our view. And it's nice, it's a really rainy day right now. So it's not the best view. I'm gonna be doing an unboxing and just sharing some of the things I got. I am currently in Saint Germain, which is about 45 minutes from Paris, which is where the Olympics are going to be held. They're not entirely full, so we're gonna see what's in there. It took me quite a while to unpack everything, but they gave us so many different things, so many shirts. We have this pillow here. I have a lot of pants and some shorts as well, but it was really nice just to have so many different things that we could change into. And they also gave us a lot of different goodies. Treatment room. Okay. Hello guys, I just left Mass and now I'm headed back to my hotel. A little bit of exploring, not much, just like two minutes of it. Now I'm headed back to my Uber. The food at training camp was so good. I usually don't say this because food tends to be bad at some of these camps, but this one was really, really good. They gave us so many different options, and honestly, I felt so fueled every day I left the cafeteria. All right, guys, I have been chilling all afternoon. Now it is about 3.45 and I'm headed to the track. So all I have is a shakeout today because I have a hurdle session tomorrow. 
and I'm gonna get a plan out of my legs. So I'm gonna head there now. There's a tram that runs every 20 minutes, I believe. So I need to go catch that. And then it's very close to the hotel. It's about four minutes on the tram. So here's the track now. So each day at camp, we had to take this tram that was about three minutes from the hotel. And the tram didn't take very long to get to the track, but it was actually pretty convenient. Once we got to the track, it was so nice, y'all. The whole setup was great. I just took some time to put some of my spikes in just because I was trying out a new pair of spikes. And then I'm setting up hurdle mobility here. I'm just doing a shakeout today because my legs needed it and I'm making sure that I get the plane out of my legs. As you can see, I'm a little stiff here, so definitely needed that. All right, the warm up is done. I just had a shake out, like I said earlier, and I'm a bit stiff today, so the flight definitely made me a little stiffer than I would like, so we need to uh, kind of stretch a little bit and roll out just to make sure I feel all good. Uh, now that I'm done, I'm gonna get stretched out and then head back to the hotel. That was a very quick warm up. To, to lead you guys into the Olympic Games. It's, um, you know, after going through the Olympics in 2021 and... Hey guys, it is the second official day I've been here. So actually, I guess you can say third. I got her early in the morning the first day. Yesterday was day two, so today is day three. So I'm about to do a hurdle session. Um, I haven't really been vlogging today because your girl's been sleeping. So day three is usually the hardest. Day one, I'm not, I'm tired. But like, I'm just tired from travel. Day two, I feel good because I slept well the night before because I was so exhausted. And day three is always difficult because day two is always hard for me to sleep. How do you do the track now? So this was my first official session before the Olympics and it was really nice because I was set up with one of the guys that pushed me. So he's a sprinter and it was just really nice to go next to him because I could tell that it really helped me run a lot faster. So I did about two reps with him. And then once I finished doing my reps with him, I just did one more on my own to finish off. Overall, I thought it was a really good workout. So after a few days, we transferred from our camp to the Olympic Village. This is our first time heading in. So before we actually went into the village, we had to go through accreditation. So here they're just getting our name. They're giving us all the things we need before we go because we have to have a pass with our name on it in order to do anything around the village. So this is just us getting everything in and then we entered and it was really, really nice. I was so excited. Here is the whole team just coming out of the bus. We all came in at different days. So this is actually half the team. We made it to the village. Say hey. We're in the village. Yeah. Woo <laughs> So we were actually pretty far away from the entrance of the village. So we had to take this little tram, which was really convenient. But yeah, we got to see all the nice views of the village. Um, it was just really, really cool. Every time I get into one, I'm so excited. All right. So and this is my room with Nicole. My bags are gonna have to find a way because there's not enough space in here. <laughs> this is our view. Um, yeah, we'll figure it out later. I'm not really sure how to do this, so. <laughs> Let's see what else we got. Room number two. shower room number three this is a little space area Once I was done looking at my room, we had a team welcome meeting, which was just trying to give us some information about how things would work the next few weeks in the Olympic Village. Yeah, and I can't wait to watch, and I'm sure you're all so excited. 
So good luck and enjoy. Go and smash it up and do not come under the bell. Or Alright, now we are taking a stroll in the village, trying to figure out where everything is and get familiar with the area. The first thing we did once the meeting was finished was we just looked around and kind of got a feel of everything in the area and y'all it was i would say this is probably one of the nicest villages that i had seen in comparison to rio once we finished looking we found the olympic rings and you know your girl had to get some video by it it's not olympics if you don't get a picture by the olympic rings afterwards we went to the cafeteria and this is the famous cafeteria everybody was talking about it was not that good i'm gonna be 100 with you like i did not enjoy the food here but they actually had another cafeteria closer to our actual village area and that one was a lot better. This is a hodgepodge of food that I got and it wasn't that good. We had some goodies in our room and I was very excited to see them. So this is my second session here at the Olympic Village. We're doing some more hurdling and it was really nice just to kind of just get closer to my competition and feel really sharp so here we're not doing too many reps but my coach wanted me to really focus on um, just being quick and that's what I did here hi guys so I am headed I got a lot of clinks and a lot of sounds here because of all the pins I've gotten so I have Panama I have USA I have um, Gambia essentially a lot of the athletes collect pins and they trade them. So I have a whole bunch of GB ones and I trade them with other countries. So it's like a fun way of just connecting with other people, to be honest, because I don't really do anything with the pins later on, but it is fun to have. So anyways, I'm headed to a little group with other believers. So we're going to do a little prayer and worship time and I'm excited to see them. So I'm going to have to do that real quick. And these are all the girls. Jenny was supposed to come, but she... Yeah. She had a drink. Say hi, Hey. You are enough. So here's a little unboxing of my new Olympic phone. I really love it. It's the Samsung Galaxy Z6 Flip and John is on FaceTime so he can see it with me, but I really love it. So this is the case that it came in and it is going to be so nice. I really like it. However, it's a little flimsy in the sense that it, the screen isn't the most sturdy and I already cracked it. It's only been a few weeks since the Olympics and y'all, my screen has a little crack at the top, unfortunately, but I will say it looks clean. It is really nice. I love it. The little thing in between, as you can see on the screen for the flip part, isn't the best, but overall it's gold. It's nice. It's really light and I really am happy to receive it. The camera is also amazing. This is the official practice warm-up track for the meet, and that is the Olympic Stadium. We are about to head in there now. I just finished my workout and I'm excited so can't wait so for those of you who do not know I'm actually sponsored by Adidas so at every championships they have a house where we can go to receive some nice free things and just bring family and friends in there with us we got lots of goodies. I'm trying on some shoes. We got some new slides, some more shoes, some Adidas originals. I have to show you guys everything, but I'm excited to try them on. These are all the posters of some of the Adidas athletes. Hey! <laughs> Look how cool this is, you guys. 
built some other models and so mm -hmm. for example ben actually uh transitioning into those one okay those one are the 800 meters spikes. Nice. and so there it starts to make sense for him to really focus on on that spike rather than on the on the sprint spike okay um, and the sp3 what it is is that it's exactly the same construction at the bottom uh, as the sp2 okay. and what we focused on is to change the after he explained the shoes to me i actually made a pair of custom shoes because i wanted some spikes that fit me really well and this is them just skinning my foot i promise my feet don't look that crazy in person and this is just a view of some of the food they had so they had little snacks for us they had some meals at certain hours but yeah it was really nice just a whole vibe you can come in chill and stay as long as you want and watch other champions all right, here are some views from the Adida house. You can see the Eiffel Tower back there. So nice. And here are all the uniforms that Adidas countries have. So I think all of them look so cool. These are some sunglasses that they have in there. They have a variety of different options as well as the ability to get your makeup done. So this is my training partner, Shamira. She's getting her makeup done. Hey, gorgeous. What are the odds? Good. Very. How's the food? Pretty good? Mm -hmm. He likes it. I like it too. Yes. I'm glad this is your first meal. <laughs> Alright, this you. is the Team GB Lounge. So, I'm headed into the gym where I'm about to lift my pre meat lift before my race tomorrow. Let's go. If you've been around here for a while, you know that I love to lift day before I compete. So my race and preliminary round is tomorrow and I am just doing some power cleans. as well as some back squats, just because it really helps me feel super explosive. And this is just a way that I was able to prepare for my race and to feel really good. Once I did all that, I just stretched out for a little bit and your girl was ready to compete. So you're probably aware by now, but I didn't have the performance that I wanted at the Olympics, unfortunately. If you wanna hear more about that, I will attach the video I did it describing what kind of happened, but I didn't finish my semifinal round. So it definitely was not what I wanted. However, I was so fortunate to have my support system there, my husband, my sister, my friend, and honestly, that just really helped me feel like I could enjoy the trip just because I didn't compete well. I could still celebrate just making it. Hey guys, look who it is. It's my sister. She's in Paris eating her crepe. Oh. Oh. Hey. How are you liking your parents? I'm loving it. I'm here to have happy to be here to support yeah. you. And I just thank God for life. For life, for freedom, and for health. Because I'm healthy. And she is too. And she's like crazy. And crazy. We did some exploring around the town as well as I got my portrait done. And I thought it turned out really well. John also got his portrait done. And it was just really fun to get this. And we're going to put it up around our house. Let us know in the comments whose looks more like them. But overall, y'all, I had a great time. I celebrated my 30th birthday. And we got to see the Eiffel Tower, spend some time with my friend, and honestly, just had an amazing time. So thank you for watching. Subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye. Thank you.